What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to easily detect faces inside of images, videos, and even in live camera data using Python and OpenCV. And in order to use OpenCV in Python, we first need to install it. So we're going to open up the command line of our choice and we're going to type pip install OpenCV-Python. Once you have that, you can import it by just typing import CV2 and now you're ready to go. Essentially, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to use something called Har Cascade filters in order to detect faces inside of images. I'm not going to explain the details of how all of this works. Essentially, we have files provided by OpenCV, XML files, and those specify certain features, certain filters for specific objects. So there's an XML file for faces, there's one for eyes, there's one for smiles and so on. I think also for general objects. And we're going to use this XML file for faces in order to detect faces inside of images. So quite simple, actually. Um, and the first thing we want to do here is we also want to import pathlib in order to find the file. And this is going to be done by saying that the cascade path, so the path to the actual cascade file is going to be pathlib.path. And we're going to get the file from, so cv2 dot underscore underscore file underscore underscore. Um, then we're going to get the parent of that file, the absolute path to this point. And then we're going to use slash to combine it with data slash um, har cascade underscore frontal face underscore default. I think this is what what the name was. Now, let me see if I'm not blocking this. I'm not very good. Um, and essentially, this is what we this is the actual path. Now you can print the full path by just saying print cascade path. And you can see that those hard cascade files are actually provided uh, by the CV2 module. So inside of the Python installation, we have in the site packages CV2, we have some data, and there we have the hard cascade uh, files. So that is that we're going to now train a classifier or build a classifier based on that file. So we're going to say CLF equals CV2 dot cascade classifier. And we're going to pass this cascade path here as the input. However, we're going to need to typecast this to a string. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues here. And this classifier is now what we're going to use to find faces in our image data. And for our image data, we're going to use a camera, we're going to say CV2 video capture, and if you have one camera, you just type zero here. If you have multiple cameras, you type zero, one, two, three, whatever you want to use. So basically zero is the default camera. One is the next one, two is the next one and so on. Um, I'm going to just use my default laptop camera. I'm recording with another camera. So I'm going to be able to use both of them at the same time. And then we're going to start the endless loop here. While true, we're going to get a return value that we're going to ignore. So just underscore. And we're going to get a frame from camera dot read. And this frame, first of all, we're going to turn it into grayscale, we're going to say CV2 dot convert color, the frame is going to be converted from color underscore BGR to gray. There you go. And then we're going to find the faces by saying faces equals CLF dot detect multi scale. And we're going to pass first of all, the grayscale image, we're going to pass the scale factor, we're going to scale the image by a factor of 1.1. We're going to specify the minimum amount of neighbors, the higher this number, the more, um, the less faces you're going to find, the more strict the criteria is going to be, the smaller the number, the more uh, faces you're going to find, but you're also going to find maybe objects that are not faces, but are going to be classified as faces. So we're going to go with a five here. And we're going to also specify the min size. Um, and we're going to specify 3030 for that. Um, and then essentially, we have the flags and the flag, we're going to set a CV2 dot cascade, cascade underscore scale image. Now, what is the problem here? We have seal F detect multi scale Y. Oh, we have a comma missing here. There you go. Now it works. And those are the faces. All we need to do now here is we need to take the faces and we need to plot them uh, or plot a re rectangle around them. So we're going to say four, and we have the coordinates x, y, the width, and the height of the face. 
in faces for each of those um, values here. So for each face, we have those four values. And for each face, we're going to now plot a rectangle. So CV2 rectangle. And we're going to plot it onto the frame at the position x, y uh, until the position x plus width and y plus height. And the color of this is going to be, uh, let's go 255, 255, zero. So turquoise, basically. Um, and we're going to use the thickness, I think this is of two. Now, this is a BGR color scheme. So this is not RGB, this is BGR. So blue, green, red, this is why this is turquoise, uh, and not yellow. Um, and then all we need to do is we need to show that so CV2 im show with a title, I don't know, uh, faces. And we're going to show the frame. And then basically, we're going to say if CV2 wait key, so this is what we need to do here. Uh, one in order to, to keep this going. So we're going to wait uh, one millisecond, I think this is. And if the, pr uh, the the pressed key is equal to the ordinal of Q, so if we press the key Q, basically what's going to happen is we're going to break out of the loop and then we're going to say release the camera and also destroy all windows. There you go. That is how you do that. I think this should already work. What do we have here? Okay, this is just duplicate lines of code because I have this code prepared already. And now I think if I have my camera activated, it's going to take some time, but we should probably, okay, now I actually close this. There you go. We should actually be able to see that. You can see it detects my face here, uh, real time. And if I put my hands in front of it, it's not, not detecting it anymore. Now it's detecting it again. So you can see this works, but we can also do that not only with camera data, we can also do this with a video. I have downloaded some videos here uh, from the internet. So copyright free videos, and we can just change camera here. I mean, camera is not the proper word anymore, but let's just uh, keep it for now. Video capture and instead of uh, entering a number, I'm just going to enter a string here. And this string is going to say uh, guy dot mp4. And here you can see that this video of a guy, the, the face is detected in this case, but I also have some examples where it doesn't work too well. I think uh, for yoga, it just detects a couple of them, not all of them. Uh, so you can see it briefly detected this face, briefly this case, uh, face, this one here doesn't detect this one or this one. Maybe it's too small, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not frontal enough. Um, and then I also have the people mp4 i think we have three people in this video those two are detected immediately this one not however you cannot really complain about this because uh this is not a frontal face this is a frontal face this is also a frontal face he's looking to the right so uh or from his side to the left uh from his perspective but essentially this is how you do that quite simple you take the cascade file, you train a classifier on it, and then basically you just extract the faces and you plot a rectangle around them. This is how you do that in Python using OpenCV. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.